Good day. Um, earlier on, we spoke about uh, the anatomy of the inferior epigastric artery. We also spoke about the anatomy of the um, uh, superior epigastric artery. Okay. But uh, most importantly, uh, the inferior epigastric artery has surgical importance. Okay. That's what I would like you guys to settle down so that we actually look at them in this video. Okay. So I have a lot of images for you. And these images actually illustrate some of the surgical importance, okay? The other ones, we just talk about them and understand them logically. So our focus today um, in this tutorial is to discuss the surgical importance of the inferior epigastric artery. How do you go about that? Uh, first of all, you see this, uh, this, um, this w, w stuff there. That's a Hasselbeck Hassel um, triangle. And um, you can see the inferior epigastric artery and veins, they are forming, forming a border of the Hasselbart triangle. Okay, so let's go. Surgical importance of the inferior epigastric artery includes the fact that, first of all, it forms the last lateral border of the Hasselbart triangle. Okay, next, it lies between direct and indirect hynia. Right, so here we have this is a direct hynia. And this is the indirect hernia. So basically, uh, this is like something herniating into the testis, okay? And you can see that um, the inferior epigastric vessels, that's the inferior epigastric vein and inferior epigastric artery, okay? They lie where, uh, okay, yeah, they lie where um, this hernia is actually starting, either being it the direct hernia or indirect hernia, okay? Next, it gives the crimastaric artery. I think that's the artery supplying the scrotum. Okay, this is the crimastaric artery. Okay, and the artery supplying the testis, rather. Okay, but the testis is in the scrotum, though. Okay, the next, we see that um, other surgical importance of the inferior epigastric artery includes in 30% of people, it gives the abnormal obturator artery. Okay, the obturator artery is not found in all humans. Okay in few humans and is considered abnormal okay the next in orchidopexy if additional length is needed the artery is cut you know um orchidopexy is like a, a surgery so actually um, if the testis is in the abdomen it does not descend into the scrotum and they want to do a surgery for the testis to descend into the scrotum they have to cut the inferior epigastric vessels okay so that's it then um it denotes the neck of the sac of hernia and herniotomy okay basically it is the starting point of hernia okay then it lies between the two limbs of pentalon hernia so talking about hernia okay just know that the inferior epigastric artery or inferior epigastric veins are related to anything hernia okay so guys, that's it. That's the, the surgery important, surgical important of the inferior epigastric artery and veins. Okay, because we ended up talking about the vein anyway. Okay, so that's the surgical importance of the vessels. Okay, the two of them, the vein and the artery, because they are basically together. Okay, so that's it about this tutorial, a rare one. See you guys in the next one. Bye for now.